This is a six minute presentation about the statistics strand of the MEI Further Maths Specification for First Teaching in 2017. The use of technology and the use of big data have changed statistics in the real world. In the MEI Further Maths Statistics strand, we've tried to reflect these changes in an appropriate way, while still keeping the core ideas of mathematical statistics you would expect to see in a Further Maths course. You don't have to take any statistics in A-level Further Maths, but if you do want to, you can choose statistics as a minor option, one-sixth of the A-level, or as a major option, one-third of the A-level. In terms of size, that's like choosing to stick with S1 in A-level maths, or to add on S2, and possibly S3 as well. Here are all the statistics topics for further maths. At AS level, the top half are the topics in a paper called Statistics A. The bottom half are in Statistics B. At A level, the top half make up a paper called Statistics Minor, and the whole list make up Statistics Major. The traditional topics include discrete random variables, their mean and variance in the minor option, the major option extends this to continuous random variables. Splitting the work in this way means that the options are co-teachable with AS and A-level maths. One of the themes of the minor option is bivariate data of different kinds. Testing for correlation and association where appropriate and using regression lines as a model. One new idea is that of the effect size for correlation, a simple concept widely used in the social sciences or anywhere that uses big data. Since this unit is about using probability distributions to model data, it seems like a good idea to test whether the model is appropriate. And so the chi-squared test for goodness of fit is introduced, as well as the chi-squared test for association between variables in a contingency table. The emphasis is not on repetitive calculations, but on understanding the principles. Compared to MEI S3, we've cut down on the number of hypothesis tests using the t-distribution and focused more on confidence intervals. Often, there is a modeling assumption required that the underlying distribution is normal We've included the use of software to check whether this assumption is appropriate. Here's an example of a normal probability plot produced by software, which students might have to interpret in an exam. We hope that they'll use software like this in the classroom. It's a straightforward thing to do. And anyone working with data in the real world would check their modeling assumptions in this way. We also expect students to be able to interpret other output from software. This is an example from GeoGebra, free software, giving a confidence interval based on the t-distribution for the same data. There are still a number of hypothesis tests in the spec, and we have tried to introduce all the important concepts that will enable students to cope with anything else they come across later on. Finally, one new topic is simulation. If you have a tricky probability question, sometimes a spreadsheet simulation is a quick way of getting an approximate result. If you throw 10 dice, what's the probability that the total of the 10 dice will be greater than 40? Hard to work out exactly, but reasonably easy to estimate with a spreadsheet simulation. This introduces a very powerful technique which students will come across later on. This is how the exams work. 
The minor option can be taught in Year 12 alongside AS Maths. The major option is probably best taught over two years. If you want to enter for AS Further Maths, then there's an AS unit with the same content as Statistics Minor. And there's another one with the same content as the second half of Statistics Major. MEI wants to support you in teaching this course, especially where things have changed. Some of the new MEI textbooks and ebooks have already been published and the rest are on their way. The highly regarded integral online resources are being updated and in some cases rewritten with interactive walkthroughs. There's a whole range of face-to-face -face CPD and online webinars as well as some one-day conferences devoted to further maths. Finally, you can register for the MEI Staff Room, an online place for finding free extra resources, expert help from MEI, and support from other teachers teaching the MEI spec. Do get in touch if you have any questions. We'd be delighted to help.